The madness continues. Okay, so I wanted to kind of mimic as closely as I could to a real layout scenario on my desktop here. So as you can see, I've got uh, some very long cable runs. This is all Cat5, Cat6, a uh, couple of Cat10 cables. Ethernet cable uh, to extend my I2C bus. And it's actually working pretty well. Um, so what we got here is a couple of different things that I did not show you in the last demonstration. Uh, yeah, a while ago, so I was using these. They are uh, your MCP23017 I2C extender board, I square C. Found out that, uh, so there's this product that DCCX makes called the X IO expander. And it basically it'll turn an Arduino into a unit that simulates this, the uh, MCP23017. <clears throat> if I can remember that number, I won't have to read it every time. Um, and it does a pretty good job at it. Uh, the, the, so what you got going here is that when you buy one of these, uh, you're looking at about uh, you know, 10, 12 bucks. When you buy an Arduino Mega, and it'll wor work with the uh, Uno, and it'll work with all the others. But when you, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going for the Mega because I can get 62 pins out of this. But anyway, I got sidetracked there. Um, what I was saying was the, uh, so this is, uh, this is about 10 or $12. This is about uh, 19, 20 bucks. So you're getting 16 pins with this. You're getting 62 pins with this. So... Yeah, it's a little bit better deal with the uh, XIO expander. Um, so I got it all set up. Um, so now uh, this is, this being my uh, my X command station uh, is the master Arduino board, and these two are the slave Arduino boards. They are being controlled through via I two C through all this cabling right here and uh so this is just a rj45 connector a bunch of that that i just soldered together uh let's see if i can yeah it's a mess under there anyway um but it's just basically uh pin one join it all together pin two join it all together pin three join it all together there's no fancy soldering or anything uh, and then uh, on the other end, you know, and then it disconnects to the uh, Arduino. I won't go into the detail there. Uh, I eventually will do a tutorial on this. This is just an overview to show you where I am. Um, so, okay, so let me give you a demonstration. So I've got these magnetic uh, reed sensors right here on this breadboard right here. Um, they're actually directly connected to this uh, I2C board, uh, PCA 9685s. But um, I've got them set up in the software to be triggered off of this board. So I'm just going to show you that. Um, now watch. When I hover over this one, see there's another board in the background here that I'm Kind of showing this a little bit blurry. I'm sorry about that, but you'll see it light up. So there you go. See that light up? Right there. Now there's about a one second lag there, and that's because of this 16 foot long cable here. But it works, you know. I'm not going to have a 16 foot cable on my layout. Um, six feet is, is the most that i'm going to do six feet uh i'll have my uh my master arduino in the center and then it will of course branch out six feet one side six feet the other side six feet forward it, it's just going to be so the longest run i'm going to have is about six feet anyway that's what i'm trying to say um over here so it uh the the insanity continues see now i hover over that sensor there, I push this button and hover over that read switch. 
So, yeah, they're all set to uh, stay on for 20 seconds. That's something I programmed. Uh, but anyway, okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and stop this for now. You get kind of the general idea. I'll go into more detail, uh, hopefully soon. I'll get a, a schematic of this all written up and some... Uh, Try to explain it a little bit better so that it's, uh, I mean, it's not that hard to hook up. Um, yeah. So, all right. I will, uh, I'll talk to y'all soon.